CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.4, Given a Scenario, Use the Appropriate Microsoft Windows 10 Control Panel Utility. Internet Options. Our next topic takes us into the Internet Options applet. This control panel utility is your command center for everything related to your internet connection and browsing experience. So let's dive in and explore this applet and its functionalities. Before I begin, if you are following along with your own Windows device and your control panel looks a bit different, try adjusting your view settings. I am currently using the large icons view. Now, when you open Internet Options, you'll be greeted with several tabs, each designed to give you control over different aspects of your internet experience. Here's a quick rundown. The General tab is your starting point. It lets you manage your browsing history and customize your browsing tabs. You can clear your browsing history in cache, which is particularly useful if you're troubleshooting browser issues or simply want to maintain your privacy. This tab also allows you to manage your search settings and appearance options, like colors and fonts, giving you a personalized browsing experience. The Security tab is all about keeping you safe. You can adjust the security levels for different internet zones, such as the internet, local internet, trusted sites, and restricted sites. It's like setting up different levels of fortifications based on the trustworthiness of the site you're visiting. Higher security levels can protect you from malicious content, but might restrict the functionality of certain websites. On the Privacy tab, you can manage your privacy settings, including cookie management, pop-up blockers, and location services. Want to keep those cookie monsters at bay? This tab is your shield. You can adjust the privacy slider to block all cookies, block only third-party cookies, or allow all cookies based on your comfort level with website tracking. The Content tab lets you control content-related settings. You can manage certificates and handle autocomplete settings. This tab also allows you to manage forms and passwords, so your browser can autofill information for you. The Connections tab is where things get interesting, especially when it comes to proxy settings. This tab allows you to set up and manage your internet connections, whether it's dial-up, VPN, or LAN settings. Under LAN settings, you can configure your proxy server. A proxy server acts as a middleman between your computer and the internet, which can enhance security and manage bandwidth. This is particularly useful in corporate environments where monitoring and filtering internet traffic is necessary. You can also set up VPN connections to securely access remote networks. The Programs tab is all about managing your internet programs and add-ons. You can set your default web browser, manage add-ons, and control how other programs connect to the internet. This tab acts as a central point for all your internet software. Also, if you use multiple browsers, you can specify which one should handle certain types of links and file associations. Lastly, the Advanced tab is a treasure trove of advanced settings. Here, you can tweak various browser settings, enable or disable features, and restore defaults if things go awry. It's the place for those who like to fine-tune every aspect of their internet experience. So whether you're tweaking security settings, managing privacy, or setting up a proxy server, the Internet Options applet is your gateway to a more personalized and secure browsing environment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.